I've always wanted to create my very own football video game. Could you imagine? Maybe something a little bit different than you usually see in that genre. And ever since I was a youngster, kicking around the football by myself in my basement, like a cool kid, I've always had this one idea in mind. So, all these years later, I wanted to see if I could start making that idea a reality. But, I'm no game developer, I have very little experience in that field. However, I am a professional web designer and developer. So, I wanted to see if I could transfer those skills into creating my very first football video game. How did it go? What did I come up with? Let's find out. So, this was going to be a HTML5 game that you could play right in the web browser built with JavaScript. Then my next step was to research a JavaScript game library that I could maybe use. So in this case, I chose Phaser 3, which is a great little game library and really enjoyed my experience with it. And it just has some game mechanics that you can just use straight away. But then my next step was to essentially follow along with that intro tutorial. And I have to say, this is a really great intro tutorial. It's very accessible and basic at the beginning. And then by the end of it, you have a little platform game uh, with some pretty easy to understand JavaScripts that you wrote. And then my essentially next step after that was to then convert it a little bit, make it my own and start adding in some of the elements that I wanted to put into my own game. So I drew my own little character and I added in a ball that you could kick if you held down the space bar. I started drawing ideas for background images for this kind of underworld vibe I had in mind. I then added more functionality to the kick so you could hold down space bar to apply more power to the shot. I added in the net to give us something to shoot at. And then I set up a collision detector between the net and the ball and then that would be considered scoring a goal. And this was why I was starting to get really inspired, because already we had a player, a net, a ball, all the basic elements needed for a football video game. So I just wanted to keep taking it from there. So the game just kept getting bigger piece by piece, you know, adding in and a preloader and title screens and the level design was getting expanded with some moving platforms and something for the player to collect with the floating stamps, which you could shoot your ball at. And you can see this version of the character design was not the prettiest little fellow. You know, my pixel art skills still had a long way to go, but it was all just about experimenting at this stage. Later, I then did change the game size dimensions into the more common 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It gave me more space to work with and then potentially would work better on more screens in devices. Mm -hmm. So this project isn't using a proper tile set system to lay out its levels, but I did at least put in a basic grid system for the kind of stone and brick background pieces you see there. So then jumping ahead quite a bit, you can see we do have a better looking character design. You know, this took quite a lot of different variations before landing on the one I was happy with. That was probably the hardest thing about learning pixel art was kind of drawing this semi-realistic human character or what these different animation cycles. And then we got more boring practice, you know, with some classic background object art like barrels and crates. You know, nothing crazy, but just something to make the background more interesting than just the gray wool. So by this point, I already had kind of a basic visual style and level design that I was pretty happy with. And from there, it was just a lot of adjustments, tweaking and experimenting. From the technical point of view, we had moved away from the very basic setup of the demo, which was just literally one HTML file where all your code lived. Now we had all these different files for our different scenes and our different levels and our different objects and all our assets. And then we were using something called Webpack, which would compile everything together into one bundle. So you've seen the process of how I started building this game. Let's take a look at what it looks like now. This is Pitbull, not the popular recording artists or the type of dog, but football that takes place in the underbelly of the city, AKA the pits. It's kind of a mix of a 2D platformer with a sports element of having this ball at your feet that you need to control. You can shoot it around the levels to hit the targets, get to the higher platforms, and ultimately score a goal to beat the level. So this is a HTML5 game in the web browser and it's played with a keyboard. 
you run and jump with the WASD keys and you have one double jump if you're against the wall so you can kind of as if you're propping yourself up using the wall then of course you have a football with you it will move if you run with it and you can shoot it with the space bar you hold the space bar to charge the shot and the longer you hold the more power the shot will have then you can also aim the ball higher with the up arrow key. So the arrow key applies the vertical height and the space bar applies the distance. So actually, if you kind of time both of these, you can get some pretty precise shots. And then of course, there's actually a very important control is the spin move. If you're running with the ball and you tap the opposite direction on the WAS keypad in the arrow pad, you will spin to the opposite direction with the ball. Maybe a little trick to get used to at first, but this is a very important mechanic that helps you navigate in these kind of tight, small levels. There's five levels for you to run through, and as you can see, they are quite basic levels. So there's no enemies, or the camera doesn't move as you kind of walk around, making it you know, as a bigger level. It's a static view. You see where you start, you see the nets, and you gotta try and navigate your way up there, getting the ball to go with you, and then ultimately shoot it. I'll also talk briefly about kind of the idea and also the story that I kind of wanted to put behind this game. There's obviously not really any story elements on display in this demo at the moment, but hopefully maybe the setting gives a few hints. You know, this game takes place in a grim alternate future where you know an evil government has taken over people's lives. And one of the things they're particularly strict about is the morale boosting sport of football. So the game has gone underground to the underbelly of the city, you know, these abandoned industrial lower depths. And this is the only place where people dare play the game. Obviously, I would love to put more of that stuff, put a bit of a story element to it. And I have already experimented, you know, drawing other characters, trying to draw some other settings and some dialogue boxes. But that's, you know, that's for version two. This is just a basic demo right now to kind of, uh, figure out the gameplay and some of the mechanics. That's actually the main reason why I chose to release the demo now in its current state, even though it is still a little bit bare bones. But I kind of realized at this stage, it would probably be most important to me just to get, start getting some user feedback on the core gameplay mechanics before I start going too far down one direction. Let's start getting some actual feedback from actual players. Now you can see we've reached the end screen. If you run through all five levels, you will reach the end stat screen and you can see how you did on all the different levels, how long it took you and how many of the available stamps did you collect. Now you've seen the demo of Pitbull. It's still in the early stages, but it was a lot of fun for me to make and I have a lot more ideas I want to do for it. But now the most important thing is I need to find out what you guys think about it. So, the game is now available for anyone to go play on itch.io. The link is in the description or the search for it on the site. And if this game has interested you even a little bit, it would mean so much if you could go check it out, give it a play, and then let me know what you guys think, you know? I have my own opinions and ideas, but feedback from actual players is way more valuable. So tell me what you like, what you don't like, even if you think the game sucks, but you have some constructive ways that I can make it better, then please tell me. All right, so that's the end of the journey in this first step of creating my own football video game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If by some miracle you're still watching, then please go play the game. Link is in the description. It's free for anyone to go play in their web browser. So please play, check it out, tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.